Oh man, um, I'll say the strength coaches did a real good job. So I came up, um, came up here early um, this off season and just got to work with the strength coaches, got on a good meal plan and, and try to put on as much healthy weight as I could. Um, so it's just been helping me, you know, stay in the box more and, and, and keep people off. Just like, how, how much have you added to your frame or how has maybe the body composition changed for you through this off season? So I've been probably at about 10 pounds, um, gotten a lot stronger, um, mentally a lot better. And just trying to do, you know, do it, do what the coaches want me to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I told him to uh, let me borrow a couple pounds. He wasn't trying to let me do it. Oh man, I had to ask him some questions. Had to get some good, some good tips and uh, <laughs> reminders on how to keep the weight on. Um, first couple of days, I mean, it's, it's just a difference, but um, the work I put in running in the off season and all the other stuff kind of got me used to it and got me ready for it. Um, the conditioning had to come in a, a little bit later, get used to carrying all that weight, but I, I feel like I've done a pretty good job of, of getting conditioned with it. Yeah, let's say a, a player's biggest leap is from year one to year two. So where do you sense that, that kind of maybe taking that, that, that jump, that leap? Um, understanding the game of football and understanding the scheme and how I fit and all the pieces. So just understanding, you know, what the D line's doing, what the linebackers doing, and that make me in my position being in the right spot and knowing where I'm supposed to be and why I'm supposed to be there. Um, the d biggest difference is just, um, you know, I got the year under my belt. I got the experience, so I kind of know what it's going to be like. But mindset's still the same. I still got to earn every day. I got to earn every play and every rep. So every time I go out here, I got to put my best foot forward. Um, just um, man covers things, things he sees, how he views the defense, um, things he sees when he lines up on offense, and just how to you know read offenses, a better understanding. So I mean, just kind of uh, bouncing ideas off each other and talking through it, and, and getting a, a better understanding for me anyway. Chase, oh man, Chase is he, he's got it. He's a dog, man. He's gonna do everything. He's a smart player. He's where he's supposed to be, and he's picking up the system quick. So so I'm proud of him. he's doing good things. No, no, he's 25. Yeah, we 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 mess with him all the time about it. <laughs> yeah, old, old rookie, old vet. Also pretty loud out there. Who Chase? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got a he's got a personality on him. You know, he's got character to him. So he, he he's definitely funny. He's he's hilarious. Have you noticed the scheme changes up for you guys in the back Um, for sure, notice the scheme changes. I mean, it's just understanding the difference and where you're supposed to fit last year and where you're supposed to fit this year and just. The differences in the, in, the, in the stunts and the techniques. So um, it's a big difference, and you can really tell. You just got to learn that and uh, keep getting those reps. How's it been going against this uh, receiver group? You know, they added some bodies in the offseason. Obviously, James is not out there yet, but how they challenge you to kind of get ready for Sure, got to bring it every day. Um, you got to, uh, it's, it's, it's good to have them out there and going against them every day. Uh, just sharpening your tools, iron sharpens iron, and you know, just trying to get better, make them better, then make us better, and just competing every day. Um, he's just, he's a really shifty guy. Um, he knows how to mask all his routes, and all his routes look the same. Um, he's made me better, just making me stay more patient, making me stay, um, um, don't fall for his first move, and you know, squeezing the hip, and just you know, being a, a better patient DB and more confident, and gotta um, accelerate out my break. That translates to everything you're gonna do. For sure, every every slot has has some of those uh, characteristics. And so it's just going up against him, Leaf, 
um, other people in the slot. You just go against different guys and different body types and different versions of receivers. And so it's good to you know go against that in practice. So when you get in that game, it's not your first time seeing it. Oh man, none of them are. Just experience level, um, understanding where he's supposed to be, um, how to set up his route. So you can definitely see the difference, the confidence level that, he's, that he goes out there with. So you can definitely see the difference. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's been, it's been you know, great. You got some team reps yesterday. You got yourself into the end zone. Just how frustrating was that to, to kind of get, get a late start? And, and how much do you feel like you have to, you know, come out the gate strong that you kind of missed a little bit there? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely frustrating, but I knew what it was going to be like coming into the draft, uh, the whole process. I knew I was going to be behind in a lot of the areas. But, um, you know, I've just tried to keep my mental side up, uh, learn the playbook and really just try to pick the vets' brains and try to pick up things from them as well. And what was the other part of your question again? Just, uh, you feel like you, you almost got to start, you can't, you can't have any slow starts because of the delay and, and how important was yesterday to yeah. you know, get those team reps and then do something with it, you know? Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a sense of urgency in my mind um, with the late start, obviously, in camp and not having OTAs. I know when I'm out there, I got to make the most of my reps, and um, you know I need to be efficient when I'm out there to show that I can play. How's what are you feeling? It's feeling really good. You know the trainers have been great. Uh, you know we busted our butts over the summer trying to get to this point, and um, knees feeling good and getting better day by day. What is the plan for the next? <clears throat> Yeah, for sure. Just kind of what we've been doing, just sneaking in little team reps here and there and then just keep building off of that as long as there's no problems, which there hasn't been. So, you know, we'll keep adding stuff in, adding stuff in and continuing to do rehab on the side as well. That's not on me. I know if they call me to be in there, I'll be ready. So, um, but uh, I'm not sure on that yet. Yeah, definitely. You know, I pride myself in trying to know a lot. Even when I was in college, I try to know, uh, understand the whole offense. Um, but yeah, and obviously with the injury as well, I knew that needed to be a big part of, you know, my identity coming into here. Just being able to withstand the playbook, the rehab, and you know, the setback. You know, being late and stuff like that to the to the party. So. You know, I pride myself in being mentally strong and coming out here and showing that I can do it. What is, when you get back to full strength, what do you think the biggest challenge is blocking? Is it the receiving, just about the young guy? Mm -hmm. Getting the playbook sound? So yeah. Or the physical side that you can have that get used to, I guess. Yeah. I would say it's a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, physical side, especially coming off the injury, I know that I still need to get a lot of my strength back and quickness back. Um, and then mental side, it's just it's a whole new whole new playbook, different concepts, different things I've never seen before. Um, so you know, there's areas to improve everywhere for me, and but I'm looking forward to to the challenge and to get better. Obviously, slow start, but what can you learn about sharing a room with a guy like TJ Hawkinson? Yeah. Just pretty much everything and different aspects, kind of like I was saying, you know, he has different techniques in the blocking game that he's he's told me about, and then obviously in the receiving game as well. Uh, when we watch film, he's very vocal in the room, and um, anytime he sees something that we that he feels like we should correct, he's very vocal about it, which has been very helpful for me. Oh, we don't have roommates. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you know, teaching him as a veteran guy, you know, he's kind of that number one guy, but it's really wide open for two, three, and, and most spots. Just how fun is it to be part of a competition like that where you know that, that you know, there's plenty of opportunities for you to step in and, and be a contributor? Yeah, it's been awesome, but I'll say the best thing about the room is we got a lot of good guys in there uh, with no egos. So everybody goes in there and tries to make each other better. I mean, we know it's a competition at the end of the day, but, you know, it's good being a part of a room that is willing to help each other out and really wants to see everybody succeed. You know, Dan Campbell is an NFL tight end. Ben Johnson coached tight ends before he was OC here. Do you feel kind of like a tight end focus kind of talk from them sometimes? Yeah, actually, Coach Campbell was in our tight end room yesterday with us watching, breaking down the film. So it's cool to have the head coach and the offensive coordinator obviously work with the tight end. So it's very cool in that aspect. Uh, I don't know if we got to my plays yesterday, <laughs> or he might have left when we got to to my red zone plays yesterday. But it's just it's good to you know hear his perspective uh, on things.
You can say it was a wake up call. You know, it was the first time I've really been, uh, I guess, kind of kind of banged up like that yeah. since camp started. So it's been a while since last season. Uh, well, when you take it like that, unexpected, it pretty much yeah, does the job for you. What you, what it's meant a lot, you know, pretty much just coming in. I was just focusing on myself, you know, just uh, the little things that I was doing wrong last season, just uh, cleaning everything up and just making the plays when they come my way. You arrived here late in camp last year. Compared to how you felt at this time last year, how different is it for you this year? Uh, it feels way better. I feel way better. I'm uh, more confident in, in the system, just knowing the ins and outs of the system because, like you said, I got here basically week one of last year, so uh, just getting those much-needed reps during OTAs and, and now training camp. There's, there was a couple guys, obviously, who felt like that. Um, a lot of people are saying Jared Goff is more comfortable, more confident. What's your impression of him um, in comparison to last year? He's definitely playing with more confidence. Just uh, being in the same system for the second year, you know, it's, uh, it's nothing's new. You know, we're kind of just going over it, kind of cleaning things up. What'd you think about his dunk yesterday? <laughs> ben Johnson rated it, uh, it a four out of ten, so it, you're free to say what you think. It needs some work, but uh, it got the job done. <laughs> so yesterday we had come back, you know, passing you know, teammates ran out there and rushed the field. What does that mean, you know, just the camaraderie of that receiver room right now? Uh, we're all pretty young, so uh, like like that right there just just kind of shows people how uh, we're kind of just a unit as a unit. You know, none of us are just better than the other. You know, we're kind of just one big group, one big family. What makes uh, Hamad Rock so good? Uh, he's smart, really smart. People probably don't know that. You know, just being from the outside looking in. But uh, yeah, he, he knows every position like the back of his hand. How have you seen this game grows? You know, I mean, I just have my shirt. Oh yeah, definitely. His route running ability has gotten better. He's always had the hands, and then uh, just like I said, just his IQ on the field. What about yourself, though? It's a second team. This is the second year of this coaching staff. We've had some things to get out. How has that helped you and the rest of the group over there? Uh, just um, just being the second the second year with the coaching staff is kind of like us. They're cleaning things up, seeing things that they could have did better last year that we're doing different this year. What kind of relationship have you built, for example, with the new position coach and then Ben Johnson? Step in I built a good relationship with both of them. Yeah. I feel like I can go to both of them if I have any questions, and if they don't have the answer, they'll find me the answer. Yeah. As, you, as you assess kind of where you are today on this roster, what do you feel like you need to show over the next, the next three weeks to, to make this team? I'll just keep being clean, making the plays when they come my way, and then uh, just, just show them that I can do you know a lot, do a lot of things, special teams, offense, whatever they need me to do. What do you think this, this offense fits you and, and the opposite? What is what do you focus on? Uh, well, I feel like, you know, I don't have just one specific skill set. Like, I feel like I can do a lot, especially on offense. Like, I, I can go deep. I can run the intermediate routes, the short routes. So, uh, I feel like just, I guess, wherever they need me at, I can do it. Dan Campbell was last one. What's your skill stands out for you? You said speed, speed, speed. Yeah. Three speeds. Uh-huh. Is that warranted as you to? Yeah, I'm, I, I would consider myself a speedster. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, he also said that you came to him and asked him for an off-season to-do list on how to improve. Can you uh, talk about like, what some of those things were? Uh, yeah, just get, when I got traded here, you know, you, you got high hopes. You know, the season last year didn't go how I planned it to, so uh, I just wanted to see it from a different perspective and see what he, he thought I needed to work on coming into this next season. Special teams a big part of that because you've been involved quite a bit. Uh, Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Any particular area in special teams that you feel you're comfortable at? Like, Oh, just all over. They got me at gunner, rushing the punt, doing doing things like that. Just using my speed, pretty much. How many items are on that list? Uh, just a handful. Okay. Yeah, a handful of items. Yeah. It wasn't like a whole. No, 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 no. Anything like that? No, nah, no, sir. Okay. So, so who's faster, you or Khalif? That's tough. Khalif's <laughs> fast. He might give me in uh, probably like the 40 or something like that. But after, I don't know. You got him in 100. Yeah, I might get him in 100. So Tom, uh, you're taking reps inside outside. Uh, how are you feeling with the uh, with those uh, with that new experience? I guess because I think you started out early just in the slot, and we're starting to see more outside reps, uh, a little higher in the rotation now. 
Uh, yeah, same thing really. Yeah. Try to get open, catch the ball. Um, as long as you're learning the concepts as a whole, as opposed to one position, uh, it's really not too bad. <laughs> it's not up to me. You can just talk, you can just talk about Jared Goff, you know, how he looks a bit, a little bit more comfortable compared to this time last year. Just how has he been in the heart of what happened in the man ball so far? Uh, yeah, I think, I think like, you got, like you just said, uh, just more comfortable, a little more confidence. Um, it's just good to see, obviously, a starting quarterback when he has that kind of command and confidence in himself. Uh, he's been great. He's been awesome. So, I mean, all the quarterbacks, really, Tim and uh, David, those are my guys. So, they've been uh, they've been great. I love being in the huddle with them. How have you seen the receiver room change since you've been here? It's sort of been some new trend of how the book to get you guys here. Yeah, I think when I first got here, there were a lot of vets like uh, – Amendola, Marv, Kenny, uh, Agnew, those guys, and we've kind of gotten um, almost like a whole new room right now. I think yeah. from my second year, it's me and Q are the only ones who are still here. Still here. So um, a lot of new guys, but you know, I learned a ton from the old guys. I'm learning a ton from these guys yeah. here. So I've just been very fortunate to be around a lot of great receivers. So. I'm uh, definitely with Chark and J Ray. Those are some pretty big dudes. So. Uh, I mean, Kenny and Marv, they were, they were pretty big too, so. Sure. Every room that I've been in, you got your big and you got your small, so. How about Raz Anderson, one of those new guys that he's come in in the last year? And this game now is just so different than the game we saw this time last year. I'm just curious from your perspective, Tom, how have you seen him on Ron develop and mature this game? Saying his game is different yeah. this year? Yeah, his yeah. route running looks crisper than uh, it was last year. Just uh, I mean, yeah, maybe a little bit more polished, but I mean, I could kind of tell last year, like as soon as he got here, like he was legit. So, um, yeah, I think he, I, I agree. He's probably gotten a little bit better, but I mean, he's just a he's a great player. And I think when he came in last year, I could you everybody could see that he's he was a great player and he's going to continue to be a great player. I guess what makes him so good, then? I mean, he's maybe not the fastest, maybe not the biggest, but he obviously just knows how to get open. He's got great hands. Uh, understands our concepts very well. Understands defenses very well. So. I think his knowledge for the game and uh, knowledge of the offense helps him. And like I said, obviously, athletically and skillfully, he's at the top, so. Last year, uh, Campbell said that he could trust you, and that was a big, uh, important thing to look back to the roster. How do you take your game up a level from that, building on that trust in the uh, last year? Uh, I think trust is like, Obviously, one of those things it takes so long to gain it and so quick to lose it. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, having somebody's trust, I think, can't really go too fur too much further up from that. So, I think just kind of keeping it and proving it, proving him right, um, continuing to make plays and be in the right position that I'm supposed to be in, all those type of things. But I'm not changing anything in my game or anything like that. If that makes sense. Yep.